Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cute bird's nest. So let's do it! Okay, so to start I'm going to go through my materials. I have my Arches watercolor paper, I have my Windsor & Newton Cotman watercolors, I have my Princeton Snap Brush, a size 10, and I also have a size 2 with me. Um, my water, my paper towel, and also um, pencil. So usually I do not um, draw any of my stuff first or sketch it out. I usually just go straight to painting. But for this, I'm going to just to make sure that I don't um, draw the nest where the eggs are going to be. So we're doing really cute robin's nest and eggs. So I'm just going to really, really, really lightly sketch out these eggs. Try and do them as light as you can. Because you don't want to see those pencil lines underneath. I'm just going to erase that. Um, someone mentioned also in another video you could use a water soluble pencil crayons, which are a great idea, or colored pencils as people say, um, which is great because if you just add water layer, they turn into watercolor anyway. So once you've done your little sketch of where you want your eggs to be, I'm just going to erase it for the most part, but enough so I could still kind of see where they are. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to do my nest and I'll just sketch that out just to kind of show you, just give myself an idea. And then this doesn't matter as much if the pencil lines are a bit darker. Don't obviously press really, really hard. But because the twigs in the nest are going to be dark anyway, I don't think it matters too much if you see the pencil lines. Okay, that's enough. I have an idea. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the nest first. And then I'm going to move on to the legs, ab the legs, the eggs after. So I'm just going to make a brown and green kind of mix. And by brown and green, I mean brown and black. My brain doesn't work. And I'm just going to go around these eggs just so I know where I do not want to paint. Fill it in around. Now this nest is going to work in layers because I want you to be able to see the different layers of the twigs in there. So I'm just filling this part in and it's a little darker like that. Um, now I'm going to do the outer bits. So I kind of wanted that inner part of the nest a little bit of a different color, so I added more brown to the outside. And I'm just roughly going around, creating lines. I'm gonna have it a bit more blackish gray in the center. So I'm just gonna drop in some color around the eggs. like that and then just kind of lines around and I get some more brown do more brown towards the outer bits I'm gonna wash off my brush completely and just kind of drag some of that color around I might even actually get some green. Maybe there's some moss. 
You get that really nice color bleed from the green. Into that brown. And then just take the tip of your brush, or you can use a smaller brush, and then just gently drag it to make lines. Just get those that twig feeling. It's a really, really light. Just drag it in around like that. I'm gonna go back into the center again and just drop some more color to darken it up. I see it's as it's starting to dry, it's starting to fade a bit. And then lines. Like that. And then I'm going to let that dry. I just want to make sure it's dark enough. I'm kind of creating a circle with the darker bit so it looks like it's the inside of the nest. Okay, so now we're just gonna wait and let that dry. So when it's all dry, you're going to do your second layer, and this is going to show more of the um, detail in the twigs. So right now it's kind of like an all blended background because it was all wet and all the colors bled together. So that's your background, and now you're going to do more of the, the detail. So, and I think what also is really important too is that you leave those little white bits. So towards the end, when we were just taking the tip of our brush and kind of creating those twig shapes, it created these white bits, which white bits, <laughs> which kind of act as a highlight for some of the twigs. So I think that's really important to do too. Not as much when you get to the middle, but especially when you get to the other bits. So try and keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm gonna take our dark color. I'm just gonna again draw lines going around. Really rough twigs. Try not to paint on the eggs. Want to leave those white until we're ready to paint them blue. So yeah, with, I'm using like black and brown. Just roughly lines going around like this. Okay. Then just gonna create some shadow beneath the eggs. Okay, then you're gonna take your brown so it's a bit lighter, and you can make your brown twigs around the outer edges. So just really rough. Doesn't have to be too detailed and too realistic. you've come here to paint real realism this is not the place to be because I do not do that why because I can't <laughs> I'm not good at making things look realistic at all I am in awe of people who can do that I think that's completely amazing when you see those people that can just paint things 
especially people and they look so real. I'm just blown away. That. And if you have any white paint or gouache, I have my white ink that I love, Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink. You could even, you know, add some highlights, so white bits in there, just to lighten up some of those twigs. that and there you go so there is your nest part and now I'm just gonna make sure everything's dry around the eggs because if it touches I don't want them to bleed together okay so it's all dry oh, I lied it's not um, I'm just gonna make sure it's dry just by using my heat tool really quickly <laughs> I just want to make sure it's dry so if we start doing the bits of blue for the robin's egg and then it starts bleeding into parts of the nest it might not look great so i'm just gonna see what blue i want to use okay hmm okay so i'm just gonna use a light blue and i'm just gonna use a light wash to start and lighter than that really light going all over the eggs making them wet and actually what I would do too which I didn't do with that one is leave a little bit of a white space if you want or honestly just make it even lighter than this I'm just going to make it lighter after. Okay. So make it all wet with a really light, light wash with the blue. Not too wet that the water's kind of sliding everywhere. You know it's the right amount of wet when you can kind of tilt it and see a nice shine without drips going down. That's the kind of wet that you want. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to just take my blue again, but more paint on my brush. I'm just going to go around the edges and get that color bleed because I want there to be um, kind of like the edges are like the shadows and then there to be a highlight on top. What I actually might do too is take a bit of my paper towel and just bring up some of that color to get a nice wet, and by wet I mean white, <laughs> um, a highlight, sorry. Oh my goodness, my brain. Okay, and then as you get closer to the edges, you can just make it a bit darker if you want. Remember, not too much water on your brush or else the water will overpower the whole egg. So just give your brush a quick look, make sure there's no water dripping off, or if you really wanna make sure, you can just dab it a bit on your paper towel to make sure you don't have too much water. And if it spreads out everywhere, that means you had too much water. <clears throat> now it looks like it's kind of, oopsie. It's drying towards the middle and I want more of a, a nice fade. I don't really want to see where I picked up that color with the paper towel, so I'm just going back in and I'm just blending it out. So blending from the lightest part to the darkest part. So I wash off my brush, dab it on my paper towel, go from the lightest part, and then go out. Big drip there. So 
all starting to dry on me. Just like that. Okay, now we're just gonna let that dry. And then once it's all dry, I'm just gonna take my brown and black again on my really small brush. And I'm just going to see how the blue eggs are connected. I'm just going to draw a line so they don't connect anymore really lightly. I might even just dab it up because I don't want it to be too sharp. in between those eggs again and just make it a bit darker so we have those shadows so underneath where the eggs are so take your dark black or brown and just darken it up a little bit underneath to create a shadow so not on top of the eggs but wherever it would be underneath And there you go. You can even make it darker in some other bits too. So just thicker lines. Just to show the depth of that nest in the middle that and there you go there is your cute little spring robin's nest thank you guys so much for watching my video i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for more have a great day guys bye